Why I keep getting late now, folks? Right, we'll do a couple. We'll do a couple on Eurovision. Minutes have its Eurovision weekend. It ended yesterday, but I just thought I'd have to read you this. This is an absolute Bobby Dazzler. Some of you may have read it, some of you may not. For those that haven't, it's worth listening to this, honestly. It comes from the lips of old Ollie. Ollie Alexander. Yes, he's the young fellow that represented us yesterday. Did very well. 18th. No, not very good at all. Nobody liked him. His credibility is down the panda going in that, isn't it? Right, let me read this, what he said. It's unbelievable, is this? It's a cracker jack. Can't believe what I've read. Didn't want to talk to anybody this morning when he got um, accosted by the press. 11 o'clock this morning, but this is what he said. He said this on his, is it Twitter account? I think it's Twitter. I'm waiting for it to load up. Right, he said, Nemo! That's the fellow who won it for Switzerland, you see. I know, I've not watched it. I won't watch that dribble, but I know. Nemo! You did it! I'm so proud of you. There's two pink hearts there in this, and there's a little two yellow diamond, well, the yellow diamond in each. Very nice it looks too. And he says, it's been such an honour to be on this journey with you. And there's some kind of face, I think. I can't work out even with my bins on. You broke the code. So without the hearts and the face that I can't work out, it's Nemo, you did it. I'm so proud of you. It's been such an honour to be on this journey with you. You broke the code. Now I thought to myself, what journey has old Ollie been on? He's not been with Nemo at all. You know, I mean, he, he didn't have to worry about finding Nemo. We'd have found him on that stage with that get-up on the had on. He'd have found him no problem, pink everywhere. You couldn't miss that. No, there was no problems finding Nemo there last night, none whatsoever. But I'm thinking, what journey's he been on? Ollie's done his own thing and Nemo has done his only. By the looks of it, better than Ollie. But I'm thinking, what's all that drivel all about? Does he mean journey, been on a journey because the guy is obviously... How best to say gay, that's probably the best way to say it. The guy Nemo is obviously gay, and we all know all he is, you know. Is that the journey? And then I thought, well, no, no, not at all, surely. I mean, nowadays, this Eurovision Song Contest is all about being gay, isn't it? The gayer you are, and the more sure you are about it, the better you do. Also, if you've got a screw or two loose, a slate loose, you've got even more chance. And there was loads of them last night that had a screw loose, I believe. So, I mean, that's, that's the blueprint for it. Gay as they come, be it male or female, weird as you possibly can, and whack it, and something missing up top, and you're halfway there. But, no, I just thought it was a bit weird. I don't know how he's been on a journey with him. Anyway, I'll leave that one with you. Maybe somebody will be able to enlighten me. There's another one to come about you, Eurovision, in a minute, because I, I, I've got a question to ask folks.